what's up youtube it's your girl lisa okay i'm back with another fire video this is pretty much another update on my skin i am not sure what's going on but i feel like i'm not really seeing a big change so right now actually my skin is kind of glowing though but maybe that's just the light you know how to light do on our melanin skin um right now i'm on my way to the dermatologist because whatever i'm doing it's just not working and it's not working the way that i want it to work I'm seeing a lot of like blackheads more than the acne i get a little white heads here and there yeah that's just not cute it's just not cute so hopefully she can give me a lot of answers to my questions so that way they can help y'all too my acne people um yeah, so let's get this day started. Is this the same stuff that I'm going to be buying? Mm-hmm. This is the same one. So the cleanser is called IS Clinical. It's the cleansing complex. They have various cleansers. Um, this one is most therapeutic for acne-like symptoms. Um, so it's not going to dry your skin out excessively, but it's therapeutic enough to treat and prevent acne. And do you remember what kind of acne I have, she said? So you are from more so um, breakouts mm -hmm. um, that consist of, as you had already identified, the blackheads, whiteheads, yeah. but then also milia, which are the cyst like little pearl spots that you get mm -hmm. around the face. Yeah. Those are called milia. Milia? Mm hmm. Just let me know, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is this not going to create scarring? Or no, because you see how I'm evenly extracting them, mm -hmm. and I'm not using my fingers. So our fingernails and fingertips are not going to provide that pressure mm -hmm. adequately, and of course, the nails are going to dig into the skin. Yeah which causes the scarring and then additional issues. That's why we encourage everyone to not do their own extractions, but mm. to come to the professionals so you don't create more of an issue. Now, is this the same thing as the derma blade? The derma, um, microdermabrasion? Yeah. No, this is better than that. Microdermabrasion is a little more, uh, a little too aggressive sometimes for this skin. Yeah. It kind of more drags and snags the skin. Mm -hmm. The hydrofacial just glides and so using the, um, cleansers and then, um, there is no, like, there's a light suction, but there's nothing compared to, like, a microdermabrasion. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have like a tip on there, the diamond tip or the... But we do have different tips that mm -hmm. are exfoliating depending on the type of acne we're trying to treat. That right lower side, okay? Okay. Don't 
okay there with the suction? Mm -hmm. Beta HD, mm -hmm. the next one, the serum I'm using, is going to help with that tease on the chin. More so exfoliating, okay? Sunscreen is the last thing. Why is sunscreen so important? So sunscreen is always put on last because it's the most inclusive. It's occluding your pores and that's how it protects your skin from the environmentals and the sun, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, but most importantly, outside of preventing discoloration and dark spots getting darker, it's going to protect your skin from the UVA, the UVB lights, the the rays that cause skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Everybody should always have sunscreen. Every day. Well, what's the best sunscreen to use? Um, we like the professional grade Elta MD or mm -hmm. Color Science as far as our preferred. Mm -hmm. um, and each line carries um, a specific one to, you know, fit certain skin types. Mm -hmm. So if you have acne, you don't want anything too occlusive because you don't want to clog your pores because your pores already get yeah. clogged. So um, the LDMD is lighter and it's not going to clog as well. You look great. 
Thank you. You look really good. Do you see how glowy you are? Mm -hmm. But best of all, you'll get to see the toxins that we, the debris that was in your pores. Do you see that? That's nasty. <laughs> All right, y'all, so everything is finished. Um, this is what my face looks like now. She um, had to pretty much poke holes in me, squeeze some stuff out, suck some stuff out, as y'all can see. Um, there was a lot of dirt and buildup in there. I got really, really emotional because, you know, I just been dealing with acne for like pretty much all my life since I was a teenager and it's just not it's not anything cute and this is my first time ever really taking care of it by a professional so you know what i'm saying not only not only that but it's like it's a lot it's a lot of money so to be spending like a lot of money for my face like i'm very happy about it but it's like dang why can't i just have a natural glow to my face why can't i just have healthy skin and you know a lot of people have to go through that in life and it's very unfortunate it's just it's hard you know what i mean it's hard having a certain type of skin it just feels like everything that i do just doesn't work so that's why i um went the extra mile this time to actually go see a professional this dermatology um doctor's office gave me a chemical peel they sucked all everything out they sucked everything out um and they just, they told me what kind of acne I had. I also wanted to show y'all the medicine and moisturizer and cleanser that they also gave me in order to keep my skin up. Um, so I got a cleanser complex. Um, this is what it looks like. In the order I need to take it. So this will be number one. Um, this is morning and night which like I said this is the cleanser complex um and then they want me to use the perfect moisture afterwards so those two I need to use in the morning and then they also want me to go back at night with the cleanser complex and then they want me to go in with the acne plus cream so this is the acne plus cream and this is actually medicine so yeah do that at night and then after that go in with the perfect moisture um all three of these together cost 137.87 and the suction chemical peel thinking majiggy cost me 170 something so all in all i spent about 300 dollars um i did have to i have insurance so i had to pay my deductible or copay i don't know which one it's called but that was 98 dollars so i pretty much spent 400 dollars today so yeah those are the three things that i have to use and I don't come back until a month from now, so to do a checkup and to do another suction thingy, chemical thingy, majiggy. Um, but I hope this this stuff works. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be showing y'all my skincare routine. Is this a skincare routine? I hope this is a skincare routine because now I have a skincare routine. It's not just gonna be black soap and rose hip oil. It's gonna actually be some real deal stuff but yeah these are my new medicines that i have to use for my face um stay tuned like subscribe send it to your mom send it to your daddy send it to your bald-headed granny and we out